Welcome back to Morning Coffee here on the Radio Vision Network. I am Mark Cook, and I'm glad that you're back with me because we're going to talk about something important here. And it's probably not something that you've thought about it unless you're in the situation. But to give you a little bit of background, first off, November is National Family Caregivers Month. All right, what does that mean? Well, it means that a lot of people out there are taking care of their parents, uh, their spouses, their adult uh, friends, their neighbors, and, and, and there are a lot of caregivers out there, right? But here's kind of the issue, right? Because all these caregivers are unpaid. So they kind of estimate that if they were paid, it would be $470 billion. It's a huge number. But there's an even larger disconnect in the African-American community uh, with their caregivers. So I have two experts on the line. I have Dr. Janet Taylor and Edna Kane Williams. Good morning, ladies, and welcome to Morning Coffee. Thanks, Mark. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome. This is really an important issue, and um, the uh, AARP and the Ad Council has kind of gotten together to, to create a campaign of PSAs to kind of bring a little bit of this uh, more to the forefront. It's called Real Talk About Care. Uh, who would like to give us a little bit uh, of a background on the campaign? Well, I'll start. We, we, the campaign with the Ad Council and AARP is really calling attention to what a, what a big issue family caregiving has become for our country. And we really specify family caregiving because, as you said, it's an army of unpaid family members who are doing a yeoman's job of caring, in some instances full-time, an average of 21 hours a week, in addition to working full-time very often, caring for a loved one. And that can be significant care, significant health, and medical services that are being provided in the home uh, by these family members. So we want to call attention to this issue, but more importantly, and Dr. Janet will share more about what resources AARP has developed to help uh, the, these cadre of folks who are, who are doing this work for, on, on behalf of their loved ones. Yeah, I, I mean, and you talk about, I mean, just in the title, it's caregiving. You're, you're, you're giving care to someone. and. It, it creates a lot of challenges for everybody in that situation, but we're seeing that it's 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 presenting a set of unique challenges in the African American community. Uh, can we talk a little bit about those unique challenges? Well, one of the unique challenges is is financial, right? I mean, it it, it requires a great deal of resources to care for someone properly. And I say it's a unique challenge for African Americans because our income levels sometimes are lower uh, than, than the, 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 the general population. So the cost of medication, the cost of, of home medical equipment, the cost of special foods and diets, all of these can put an additional strain on family incomes that are already stretched to the limit. And, and I would add that research shows that African-American caregivers spend 34% of their income versus 14% in the, in the, uh, with white caregivers. So there is that differential that can make a real difference. And also, unfortunately, many African-American caregivers shoulder a higher burden of chronic disease themselves. So in addition to taking care of their loved ones, they're managing and we're managing our own diseases, which may include diabetes or high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease. So, you know, what we're here to talk about is the reality of caregiving and, and, and the burden that comes, but also people get a lot of, of joy and, and, and satisfaction in taking care of a loved one, but offering resources for caregivers who might feel really pushed to the max or might feel like they're getting caregiving in, in isolation. And so we have a, a caregiving network, which any listener can go to or viewer can go to at arp.org slash caregiving and find support for your strength with resources, including practical tools, tips on how to be healthier yourself, and joining a conversation of supportive caregivers so you realize that you're not alone and it's free. Well, it's really an amazing website because a lot of times when people are in this situation, they're really overwhelmed. It's an overwhelming, uh, you know, feeling to kind of have to be uh, responsible for the care uh, of somebody who may have cared for you. You know, that's kind right. of the, the dynamic is that it's children that are now caring for their parents. But, you know, this campaign uh, that, that AARP and um, the Ad Council has put together, you guys got Spike Lee to do this. How did you do this? Well, his agency was involved, as were a lot of people in, in developing the creative for 
of the campaign. So yes, we're delighted with the partnership with him and his folks. Yeah, it's fan it's fantastic. And and look, I mean, we want to show we want to kind of show and shed a light on on, on you know the African American caregivers. And what better way than to get the top African American filmmaker in the country to get him and his company behind it? It's really it's it's going to be a fantastic program. And I was wondering, you know, where am I going to go? I'm going to start seeing these PSAs everywhere. I know, but where can I go now if I want to get more information? Well, right now you can go to the website aarp.org/caregiving and also join the conversation that's happening right now on Twitter using the hashtag Real Talk About Care and weigh in about your own experiences or support or feelings. But and 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 then it's also important to know that there are a lot of people, as, as again as as much as demands are, who get satisfaction from taking care of their loved ones. And this is a way to try to balance the reality of taking care, but also how do you find meaning and, and find some some joy in doing that. So it, it, it's an active, active um, opportunity. Yeah, it, the conversation it, is so important. November is National Caregivers Month, so we really want to encourage folks to talk about it, to tweet about it, to go online, engage. If you're not a caregiver now, there are things that you can do to prepare for future roles. But we really want to spark a, conversa a nationwide conversation. Yeah, I mean, it's so important, and I think it's something that people really should be taking a little bit more uh, attention to. Now, I know uh, the AARP, everybody knows AARP. It's, it's one of the greatest organizations in the country. I just was wondering if they were doing anything specific to support caregivers and, and their loved ones. Well, one is, is the, the website that J Dr. Janet has mentioned, aarp.org/caregiving, but our, we have 53 state offices, including offices in the in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and the District of Columbia. They are hosting, it's particularly during this month, but all year long activities. We spark conversations, small group meetings. Uh, we meet in, at ch at churches and community centers. Uh, we have had a major uh, state legislation uh, initiative to try to get greater support for caregivers through what we call the, 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 care, giving, the CARE Act. So we are active on a number of different levels to support caregivers. But today we want to really point attention to our online resource center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Yeah, that is fantastic. Ladies, I want to thank you for spending a few minutes with me this morning on Morning Coffee. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else you wanted to mention? No, thank you for allowing us to, to you know, tell our story and, and, and get more support and information out to your viewers and listeners. Yeah. And remember, if you're not a caregiver today, you're likely to be one in the future. So a key word is be prepared. So use our resources. Uh, enjoy our ad uh, council campaign and become informed awesome this is great stuff i'm going to urge everybody to go check it out get involved uh it, it, it's important important stuff i want to thank dr janet taylor taylor excuse me and edna kane williams for joining me this morning on morning coffee thank you ladies thank, thank you. you you're quite welcome i gotta take another quick break here on morning coffee but don't go anywhere because we're going to be right back here on the radio vision network stick around When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's.